You've heard about people having a midlife crisis, right? Well, I just found out that that whole thing's a myth. Today, Dr. Shyla Mergain, clinical psychologist at UW Health, says there are actually more stages and changes in life we can all use some help navigating, and that's why she's here today. Shyla, always great to have you. You're going to give us some pointers on flourishing through mm -hmm. life stages and changes. And the way to do that is to point out the, the, the phases here that you're going to talk about quarter life as the first one. So what's that? Yeah, to self-actualize, we have to leave uh, childhood behind. And mm -hmm. this is a phase of emerging adulthood. And the primary task is identity development. Uh, figuring out what our best work is, the relationships that we want to surround ourselves with, maybe starting a family. And a way to navigate this is to focus on our five signature strengths. Those things that just come to us naturally, they're kind of like our superpowers. Okay. When we focus on them, that'll, they'll allow us to set up our life in a meaningful way that brings happiness and well-being. So find those five things that you do well and focus on those. Now, you say there's not a midlife crisis, <laughs> but there is a midlife crisis. <laughs> stage. Yeah, most people navigate this transition well, although mm -hmm. it's a time of a lot of upheaval. Although we might be established with our career and family, there are a lot of changes. Maybe children are leaving home, maybe parents are aging. So we can navigate this instead of stagnating. We can have something called generativity okay. of really focusing on meaningful contributions to society, thinking about the next generation by focusing and highlighting in those values, those things that are important to us and keeping that in the forefront. That's kind of like a, a guiding, being guided by our North Star values. Okay. And the third and final phase you're going to talk about mm -hmm. to he here today is later in life. Yeah. Okay. And that's a time often around age 65 when we're transitioning into retirement. And so much of us, our identity can be caught up in work mm -hmm. and it's a time that's of true. repurposing. And instead of feeling despair over, oh, I'm no longer working or have that aspect of our identity, we can transition into a time of wisdom. Ah. And although our body's aging, we can actually be de-aging by really cultivating lifelong learning. And we have time to do those things that we've always wanted to do, so use it wisely. That's right. Wisdom, you do you do definitely gain more wisdom the older you get, because <laughs> you you've too. been through so many things, you know? Exactly. All right. Uh, Shyla, thanks so much. I want to let you know if you enjoy hearing Shyla, you can hear her in person this Thursday at Dream Bank on the Capitol Square, Thursday evening from 6.15 to 7.15. She's going to be talking about ways you can find awe every day in your life. And of course, those moments are always special and we need to find more of them. Shyla Mergain, thank you so much for being here with your great advice as always. Thank and you. And I hope to see so many of you at the Dream Bank talk this Thursday. Check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it and get something out of it. And we'll have a final check of the forecast. It's going to be raining anyway, so you might as well go to Green Bank after the break.